So in the demos today, we will be focusing on two heavily discussed voice tech use cases. And this is e-commerce search and then flight booking. But given our horizontal platform approach, you can think of these demos at an even higher level as demos of simply voice search or voice for data input. And to really show the efficiency and the speed of the speechly approach to voice, I'll be showing side-by-side -side demos of voice assistant and speechly experiences both trying to complete the same task. So we will start with e-commerce search and searching for a Samsung TV using the multimodal Alexa skill from Best Buy that you can find on an Echo Show device. How can I help you today? Search for TVs. Sure, I have search results for TVs. There are currently 498 items in this list. You can narrow it if you'd like. Do you want to narrow the list by price, brand, or both? Both. Okay, let's start by narrowing by price. What's the most you want to pay for the product? 750. And what's the least you expect to pay? 400. Okay, now let's narrow by brand. Most people choose these brands for TVs, Best Buy brands, LG, and Samsung. Would you like to include one or more of those? Samsung. Okay, now let's narrow by brand. Most people choose these brands for TVs, Best Buy brands, LG, and Samsung. Would you like to include one or more of those? One. Okay. Now let's narrow by brand. Most people choose these brands oh for God. TVs, Best Buy brands, LG, and Samsung. Would you like to include one or more of those? Yes. Do you want to include products by Best Buy brands? Oh my God. No. Do you want to include products by LG? No. Do you want to include products by Samsung? Yes. You can include a brand of your choice. Do you want to do that? No. You now have 21 results for TVs by the brands, Samsung, and between $400 and $750. So thanks for hanging in there. But as you can see, it takes over two minutes to return over 20 results and doesn't really add efficiency or simplicity to the task of searching for a TV. If anything, it actually makes this task even more complicated. So now let's take a look at the same search task being accomplished using Speechly. Show me Samsung TVs from $400 to $750. So that was pretty quick. And you can see that the value of eliminating the need for conversation and focusing on the user task becomes obvious when seeing a comparison like this. But in order to really see the actual reaction speed of Speechly, I wanna slow down the demo that you just saw. So if you watch this, you can notice how the site actually reacts instantly to the utterance as it turns green. It's at the same speed that you would expect a touch screen to react to a swipe or a tap. And this is our approach to e-commerce search. Next, we're gonna look at the task of booking flights. Although this is a heavily discussed use case, United has the only skill available using Alexa. So here's the United experience using the Alexa mobile app. How can I help you? Book a one-way flight from Detroit to Miami. Is this a one-way trip or round trip? One way. When do you want to leave? Please tell me the specific date. June 18th. We're still processing your request. If you want to keep waiting, please say yes. Otherwise, Say no. I would say no. 
and disregard that you can't actually book a ticket using this experience, but it took over 30 seconds to get to that point in the first place. Now, again, let's look at the same task being accomplished in a mobile site using Speechly. Book a round trip flight from Detroit to Miami for July 1st and returning on July 10th. And can you do that in business class and direct only? Again, it is easy to see the value of a voice interface when you strip the need for conversation and focus specifically on the user task at hand. And these are live demos, so please feel free to actually go to our site, test them out, and try them for yourself.